Hey there, my name's Adam McLaughlin. Question of the day today is, what do I do to start a web design agency? How do I start a web design agency? And I think the very first question is to figure out who is your audience? Who is that one segment of an industry that you wanna serve? Now, starting out, it might be really tempting to say, I just wanna serve everybody. I'll build a website for anybody who needs a website. I'm open, I'm available, I'm flexible. What that really sounds like is I'm desperate, I'm not focused, I'll take any money that's getting thrown my way, I just need some business, I'll take any kind of business. And really what you want to do in the long run is you want to be seen as an expert in a specific industry. It makes your marketing much easier, it makes your client acquisition much easier, it makes building your portfolio, building out your website, what kind of content, what type of images do you want on your website, all of that gets much easier if you figure out what industry specifically you want to serve. So the answer to the question is how do I start my web design business is you have to figure out who it is you want to serve. Who do you specifically want to serve? Now, I've found four ways that people figure out what is the audience that they want to serve, right? You need to be the go-to person for plumbers or the go-to person for industrial, residential, uh, HVAC, or you need to be the go-to person for commercial realtors, or you need to be the go-to person for whatever your industry ends up being. And so then all of your marketing gets created around the idea that you are the expert for that industry. You know exactly what they need and you know how to serve them online with their website. So four ways you might figure out what that industry is for you. Number one, you've got experience in a specific industry. So take a look at your work history, the things that you've enjoyed doing. Maybe it's in a not-for-profit space, the things that you've enjoyed volunteering with. So what have you done before that you've really enjoyed? And is there an opportunity to serve those people? Number two, is there a hobby that you know everything about? You know everything about a specific type of industry because you're so dedicated to that industry as a hobby. Number three is that there's somebody that you could partner with who knows that industry really, really well. So if you can find a salesperson who can represent themselves in that industry really, really well, then that is a great opportunity for you to go and serve that industry with the your partner being the sales or the face or the marketing face of your brand. And the fourth opportunity is if you know somebody, a close friend or a family member, or maybe growing up, your family owned a business and you know that market inside and out. If you are close enough with somebody who knows the market inside and out, even if they don't want to do sales for you, they don't want to be involved with your business, you could at least speak to them and get the information from them. Learn the ins and outs. Learn how the business works. Who are the most common suppliers? How does the wholesale chain work? How does the delivery chain work? What are the most common frustrations in retail? So those are the four ways. Number one, some of your previous work experience. Number two, a hobby that you love. Number three, somebody that is already in the industry who can do sales for you. Number four, somebody who can explain an industry inside and out and can be kind of like a consultant that you can go to to ask about the industry. So when I get asked, how do I start a web design industry or where do I find clients? Uh, sorry, how do I start a web design business or where do I find clients for my web design business? My first question always is, who is your target audience? Who have you figured out how to sell to? That's it. Let's go build that agency.